Hey friends, I welcome you again and today we are going to learn Linux networking command. Okay, what are networking command? Well, by networking command I mean that simple commands like ping, netstat, ifconfig, traceroute, etc. through which we can know about know about the terminals on our network we can ping the other network and see whether it's alive or not we can do a net set and see that what are the ports that are listening on my system and n number of things we can see our system IP address and we can we can I mean uh, just do an s look up to uh, find what is the possible IP addresses of google.com so we can do n number of things right so let's move forward in our tutorial so these are the commands. Let's first understand each and everything. Host name. Uh, I mean, using host name, you can know what is the actual host name of your system. What is the domain? What is the fully qualified, do uh, fully qualified domain name of your system? What is the IP address? Similarly, using NetChat, you can see the routing table. Uh, what are the different sockets that uh, are on your system how they are listening to which other sockets they are connected TCP and UDP all kind of sockets similarly you can do a testing whether you are connected to a particular network or not so you can do a ping test similarly if config very versatile command you can know about your network configuration like your IP address your TX RX your data exchange rate you can see all the Ethernet that is available on your system NS lookup for it is for querying DNS to know the um, IP address of a domain name or an, uh, a domain name responding to the IP address. Okay, Telnet. Telnet. Uh, long back it was used for connecting to a entity, a remote entity, and uh, and accessing and um, accessing that entity. But since it's a secure thing and SSH is more prominent now. So Telnet is generally used for checking the connectivity. Okay, we'll see how we do it. Traceroute yet very very important utility. You can use this command to see that uh, I mean to what level you are reaching while connecting up to uh, another remote station. Suppose two systems are connected, you can do a traceroute to the IP address or domain of the other system. It will show all the nodes, intermediary nodes through which the packet is going to the other network so you can actually see how your packet is transferring from the own network to the other network okay so we'll see each and every command in detail first the host name so you s enter host name it says uh, machine host name then you say hyphen d for knowing the domain f for fully qualified domain name and i for the ip address so let's have a little practical session with that we always have so i say host name so so invention dot studios is my host name i say hyphen d for the domain so studios is the domain to which i'm and this is the subdomain okay and then i do F for a fully qualified domain name so invention dot studio is a fully qualified domain name and then I do I for knowing the IP address so this is my IP address okay okay so let's go back to the tutorial and let's try to understand the other topic that we have ping so what is ping actually when two systems are connected and you want to see whether my connectivity to the other system is there or not then we do a ping test and we also when we tr when we see that our network is a little sluggish then we also test it through a ping command so let's see an example how how it does so i say so i say ping this ip address and you see now the other machine is applying in very good time so I am connected to this machine and the connectivity is in millisecond so the connectivity is pretty good okay similarly I can do ping to any domain say I say ping to google.com so I say ping so I will request and then I am getting a reply but you see here the 
the time is little more so my internet connection will be slow so this is how we can see whether the particular host is reachable to me or not if you are not reachable then what sort of message you will get suppose I say google one there is no such domain but I say google one dot com right so it will try to ping this domain and it will ultimately tell me that that system is not responding okay so but you can also see from the time that the network is pretty slow whereas when I ping to the uh, local network to mine it was showing a very particular time you see the host is not reachable okay so this is where ping command is used right you just test the network speed and and more uh, important that your network whether you are connected with the network or not okay so let's move to our next topic let's chat one of the most used command on the network when you are doing socket programming especially client and server socket you heavily use it right to understand that so how netstat helps you netstat gives you network statistic right and it will gives you it will list all the udp and tcp sockets and it will also um, uh, display its state whether it's active it is connected and what actually is happening which port is connected to what port and all the information so if you want to see uh, all the information you say netstat hyphen a and if you want to see a particular port then you just grab it to the port and if you just want to see the tcp port you say hyphen t for udp a hyphen u similarly if you want to see all the multicast networks that is subscribe to this port you, you say hyphen g and if you want to see only the listening port you say hyphen l okay and i tell you netstat is a, a very important so i have covered it in a separate a video tutorial called mastering netstat right so if you are interested in mastering it because it's a very helpful and handy command and it's used very widely so you just go to it and read okay i will try to place a link also in this video tutorial if you click that link it will take you to that video tutorial okay so let's go into the practical session of ours and um, okay so let's clear our screen a bit okay so I I will say net stat hyphen a let us use a pager command less I have already covered it so I do a less and there is some issue so let me first see net stat a okay so uh, let me just see what was the issue. I said less. I don't know what happened that time. Okay, so you can see it has listed all active internet connection. It's a protocol. It's a receive queue, send queue, local address, foreign address, state. Right. So you can see it has listed all the connections that are established on the network. So this is for active Unix socket. Right all the information so you queue to exit that so you use net, net set hyphen a and you can pipe it with the pager command i have already covered this pager command in my other tutorial watch it to know more about it okay similarly if i want to see only tcp port let's let's say if i want to see all the tcp port i say hyphen t so you see i can see all the tcp port and uh, how they are connected what are the foreign address and in which mode they are I can see everything right similarly if I want to do see all the UDP sockets I say you you say protocol is now UDP and you can see how they are connected at which port they are connected and uh, I mean what state they are in similarly you can do hyphen G with the multicast and suppose if you want to see all the listening socket you say T so here you will have both TCP and UDP right sockets and they are listening to which port and they st uh, states also you say this is established and the rest of the are listening so it's a very important about to go deep into your network okay so I've covered this in a separate tutorial master in which I have gone into each and every things in much detail watch it for more info okay so let's see what else we are left with now basic tutorial 
section for today if config very versatile command very very versatile suppose if i want to know about my system right so i will say if config it will tell me all the configuration like ip address rx tx and if i say hyphen a it will it will tell me about all the ethernets that i have on my system then if i want to see a, a, a specific network setting i will say that particular ethernet name that ets0 eth1 that kind i can just bring up my interface or i can bring down my interface right and um, okay so let's go and try this let's clear the clutter first sorry okay so i say if config you see this has told me that this is your active ethernet this is your ip address this is your broadcast address this is your mac address this is your mask this is your ipv6 and this is a rx dismatch packet you have tx with dismatch packet you have error drop nothing collision and you can see each and everything this is the loop back ethernet detail and if i want to have more details i say hyphen a and it's better if i can pipe it with the pager command and i say less so i can see all the network that i have right similarly if i want to see a particular information about a particular ethernet i will say eth0 and it will tell me about just that ethernet okay similarly if you uh, if i want to i want to down the ethernet i will say eth down right now i cannot execute otherwise my terminal will disconnect so you just enter it will this uh, it will put it down you can do it there is other way of doing it uh, apart from it you say you say if down it sorry eth0 it will also bring your interface uh, stop your interface somehow. similarly if you want to up the interface you say if up eth it will bring up the interface or you say if config if config eth0 up it is already up so i am not executing okay similarly you can set ip address you can set subnet mask and do n number of things right so i have also since if config is also a very important command so i have a separate video tutorial a mastering one so after going through it you will master if config okay so watch it for more info okay so let's finish up with the rest of the command and let's look up suppose if you know the host name and you want to look into the ip address or reverse of it so we, we use ns lookup similarly if you want to understand connectivity connectivity between two network what are the hopes through which your packet goes and um, suppose if you are not able to reach to the end point so if you want where your connectivity is breaking then you use a trace rule both are very important so we will we'll understand it in detail so as usual i will first clear the screen so that we can do i say ns look up you should do a tab and you will be say i say google.com i want to understand what is the uh, ip addresses through which uh, i connect to google so i do google so you see right these are the ip addresses of google so we say this 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 right so you can do a reverse of it so this is how nx nf lookup is used okay now the more important command is trace root so this is the trace root so i do trace root and i want to see between my computer and google what are the hopes that my system goes through so it will show you all the hopes right so now it's tracing google.com from my system so from my system it will is tracing it goes to this now it's trying to discover so it will it will actually show you the list of the ip addresses through which it is traversing to reach that system google.com so you know this is very important especially especially uh, when you are not able to connect the system but still you have a connectivity right it's not showing any information here uh, because probably I might have some internet problem, but I mean 
generally trace route when you use trace route it actually shows how you're connected to the other system it, it will show each and every hook through which your packet goes and it is very helpful in analyzing if you have any particular problem at at a particular hook you can at least see uh, to which endpoint you are reaching and then you can further check what's the problem in the connectivity i use it a lot for my uh, network related uh, information uh, or analysis okay so this is all that i wanted to cover in today's networking command utility it's and uh, all the command that i have discussed today are very handful please uh, practice it and uh, actually uh, uh, these are very very important commands also i mean uh, i mean after understanding uh, all the different command you really understand Linux as an operating system in a better fashion okay so friends this is how I finished today but uh, there's a small request from my side uh, if you like this tutorial please like it share your feedback subscribe to the uh, subscribe to the channel so whenever I put a new lesson you are just intimated and watch other tutorials also which are in the channel share your feedback and share with your friends okay please let me know your feedback okay bye